knock knock put in say hello to the new improved Holly Quinn oh it's a puzzle and you want to play huh okay let's play hey put ins Welcome to my makeup tutorial for the new Harley Quinn look from Suicide Squad. I, for one, am stoked about this new look. She's in street clothes, has spikes, a baseball bat. Basically, it looks like she's gonna kick ass all the time, and I'm totally into that. Now, if you wanna do the cute Harley Quinn look, just watch the first half of my video. Otherwise, watch the whole thing to get this roughed up post-battle look. All right, Mr. J, let's get started. First, Mix the lightest foundation you have with the white face paint to get a very pale skin tone. I used white setting powder to smooth out the look. Blend all over your face, ears, and neck. Prime your lids, then add red cream eyeshadow up to the lid crease and out to the side, swooping down into four spikes on your right eye. Do the same with the blue, but I only did two softer spikes there. Line your top lashes with liquid and bottom lashes with pencil eyeliner and smudge it out. Use slate black eyeshadow in the lid crease to add depth. Put on mascara and fill in your brows with light and dark browns to match hers. Add foul slashes for an extra pop. Next, draw on her iconic heart tattoo. It's below the red, down from the outside corner of her right eye. Fill in your lips with a bright red lipstick. Hers are nice and full. Now for her rotten tattoo, I actually downloaded the tattoo designs and printed out her tats on temporary tattoo paper at home. I'll put the link in the description. Otherwise, you can also use black eyeliner or face paint and write it on. Throw up your hair in those signature Harley High Ponytails. Now, I actually have hair dyed similar to Harley's on one side, so I used hair chalk to make the other side a red-pink color. You can use hair chalk on your own hair or a wig as well. So that completes our cute Harley Quinn look. Now if you want to, you can stop right here. And if you want to know how I made my outfit, follow the link right here to the end of the video and I'll show you how. Otherwise, I'm going to take you all the way and show you how to do the deranged post-battle Harley from the end of the trailer. So we're talking scratches, cuts, bruises, get ready for it, it's about to get crazy. So I'm using this shot from the new trailer for reference. Draw a scratch on her forehead with scarring liquid. It'll pull in your skin to make a more realistic groove. Smear red cream eyeshadow and lipstick down the corner of your mouth using your finger. Reline and smudge underneath your eye to get that raccoon look. Up the intensity with the powder black eyeshadow underneath your eyes, on your lids, and on top of the other colors. Go over the reds and blues to punch them up a bit as well. Next, crumple up a paper towel, dip it in matte black eyeshadow, and go crazy. Use the reference photo for a guide and dab it all around the sides of your face and your eyes for that post-battle look. Fill in the scratch with a bright red and align next to it with a darker red to give it some shadow. So I looked at some set photos of Harley drenched in rain and I saw her makeup running all the way down her face. So at the end, I went back with a really watered down face paint and let it drip all the way down to my jawline. Using the same temporary tattoos, I added in the armband and the leg diamonds. Nice work. If you want to fully suit up, stay through the end of the video and I'll show you how I made my costume as well. Welcome to the squad. That's it. I hope you enjoyed my Harley Quinn tutorial. If you did, please hit subscribe below and you can check out Suicide Squad in theaters August 2016. Until then, you know what they say about the crazy ones. Alright, so I got guns and cheap jewelry from a party store and I used mini alcohol bottles for her grenades. Spray paint those white and any jewelry you want to use gold. I got this belt-like material from the fabric store and I fashioned it into a figure eight. Safety pin the middle and put your arms through the holes like a jacket to measure yours on you before you cut. I added studs all the way around and used the parts of the fake police belt my toy gun came in to fashion a grenade holder.
Since it was cheap pleather, I was able to use studs to hold it all together. No sewing required. I attached the grenade and gun holsters with safety pins because Harley's punky anyways. I cut the choker from white fabric. I wrote out put in on leather with a gold pin after practicing a bit and I cut those out. I used E6000 to glue it all down and I added snaps in the back to secure it. I wanted to make her hairbands legit, so my pigtails would stick out like hers. I cut strips of pleather and painted them red and blue with acrylic paint. After they dried, I used Velcro squares to fasten them. Note: I used real hair ties to actually hold up my hair. These are just for style. Rather than find stencils or handwrite goodnight, I figured it'd be faster to find the stickers in the closest font. I couldn't find them in red, so I painted them too. I made my own diamond stencil for the bottom of the bat and I filled that in with Sharpie and acrylic. Stick the letters down the middle and you're in business. The basic shirt I got online, but if you want to recreate it, the font is Jezebel. As is, it was far too perfect for my crazy Harley, so I dabbed red paint and water wherever red and white met. I also soaked the blue sleeve and added in more paint there. I cut out pieces of the seams of the shirt and holes in the front to add that been through hell effect. All right, there you have it. Everything you need to be badass Harley Quinn.